Why does altitude affect F1 car performance? The Mexican Grand Prix always throws up a slight curveball for teams by being a whopping 2,250 meters above sea level. Compare that to Silverstone, which is 119 meters, Spa, which is 312 meters, and even Austin, which we went to recently, would be no more than 305 meters either. These are a few track examples, but nothing gets anywhere close to what the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez does. Now that's all very interesting, Matt, but what on earth has that got to do with F1 car performance, I hear you ask? Well, air density is incredibly important when running Formula One cars, and also walking upstairs in Mexico. I did that a few years ago, and wow, you run out of breath fast. Let me drop some science on you, but not too much science or I'll get confused. The air density, if you were to be directly at sea level, is roughly around 1.225 kilograms, but in Mexico, it's all the way down at around 0.96 of a kilogram. This is essentially how much the air weighs. I was very average at science at school, so my brain is already starting to hurt. Either way, the point is there's a lot less air pressure than normal. This can affect the power units, the downforce levels, and even the drivers themselves. Yes, it's not just me who struggles up loads of stairs in Mexico, okay? Despite teams bringing out what I'm going to term shovel rear wings for the Mexican Grand Prix weekend, which is them trying to create as much downforce as possible, they still really struggle to get the cars to work due to the air being thinner. Downforce relies on air to push the car into the ground. If there's literally less air, there's less available to give the cars the grip they need. Hence, the massive wangs. They're able to bring out these quite extreme aerodynamic parts because drag is also less of a factor, meaning straight line speed isn't directly affected by downforce as much as it usually is. Sorry, very quick interruption. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're enjoying this or any of our other content. Thank you. Love ya. Now onto the power units. These are greedy little things that want as much air as is physically possible to facilitate more fuel being pumped into the engine, which in turn breeds more power. More power means more speed, which means more winning. A simple equation. In Mexico, the turbocharger part of the car, the bit that sucks air into the engine, needs to work a lot harder than usual due to roughly 25% lower density air than at sea level. This puts a huge strain on the turbine and can often lead teams to push the power unit to its very limits. Not only is it making the parts work at a higher rate, but there's also a problem with cooling the cars around such a place too. F1 cars have to naturally cool themselves down by the air that they travel through. There's no pressing a big red emergency button for an ultra cool down mode to activate loads of fans to help the components. It's all gonna come from the great outside. This is where you would have noticed the F1 cars having much wider air intakes to help with the cooling. There's a lot of adapting that F1 teams have to do in order to be competitive in Mexico, and having a car that only works in one specific condition will not ever be fast around here. Finally, and this one isn't directly linked to the engineering of an F1 car, but it's still very important, and that's the drivers themselves. Of course, they are all incredibly fit to go racing all around the world and withstand huge amounts of G-forces, but Mexico provides them with a different kind of test. Their training regimes would have been altered slightly as having less air to breathe means less vital oxygen to go to their muscles that will be crying out for help during an intense race. If the relevant training isn't carried out to a high enough standard, the driver performance may drop off slightly. But why are Red Bull able to do so much better than other teams around here? Well, a lot of it comes down to Honda and how they focused on optimizing their turbo to bring as much air as possible into the compressor. They have experience working with jet engines, which are obviously built and designed to be very high in the sky, therefore giving them an advantage on creating the ideal turbine. Combine this with the fact high rate concepts, which are usually affected by producing slightly more drag, perform better because the thinner air means drag is less of a factor. It's basically the perfect place for Red Bull to smash out a great result. There you have it, an insight into why Red Bull tends to be really strong around the Mexican Grand Prix circuit. How many stairs in Mexico could you get up before being out of breath? Let us know in the comment section below. Before you go, do you like playing games? And do you like being rewarded for doing well? If you've said yes to both, then stick around as I want to tell you about Rev Racing, a game you can play and earn an in-game currency which can be converted into real-life money. So what is Rev? Rev is the utility token that serves as the primary currency of purchase, utility and action across all Rev Motorsport blockchain games by Animoca Brands. Rev is designed to enable true digital ownership of game assets, giving players freedom and control over their NFT in-game items across a growing metaverse of racing games. There are loads of games you can try in the Rev Motorsport ecosystem and F1 Delta Time is an official Formula 1 blockchain game. 
It's play to earn. So if you play well, you can obtain prizes and rewards that have real world value, meaning you can sell them. Racing in F1 Delta Time requires a minimum of one car, one driver and one set of tyres, and these are non-fungible tokens. There's a few ways to get NFTs to start on the game, so check out the Rev YouTube channel linked below to find out more about that. They also have games for both MotoGP and Formula E if you fancy trying your hand at either of these. Both are incredibly detailed and immersive experiences. So what are you waiting for? Get involved with Rev Racing, earn some real life cash and have fun while doing it.